Hey guys, hope you're killing it today. Welcome to the 1% Podcast. Today I'm here with my man Garen. He owns a kick butt roofing company. And before we were about to start, he said, can I say a prayer? I said, why don't we just get this thing started and we'll say the prayer now. And by the way, he's got a story that he's going to tell you that number one, you'll probably cry because it's, it's crazy. Like I, I, uh, I tear up hearing it, um, but it's going to change your life. I know that for sure. So I want you to listen up and uh, let's start with that prayer. Right. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for being able to be here today with Andy and this podcast and that we're able to impact thousands of others that are here listening to it. I just want your words to be spoken and your will to be done and you help guide our words and this podcast to impact others. In Jesus' name pray, amen. Amen. Cool, he wanted to pray before and I said, no, 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 hit, hit record, let's roll. I want everybody to be a part of this. So number one, you're a good buddy of mine. I'm not gonna go into it. You're very successful. You have an awesome story. Uh, you have a crazy story. Um, and by the way, you have a you have an awesome team. He flew out 300 uh, of his team out here to Scottsdale, Arizona to train all day live yesterday. Unbelievable. It's just, just unbelievable, man. I mean, they're just so bought in. They're so fired up. He has a great organization. He's a great leader. Um, but I'm going to turn it over to you. Yeah. Uh, Garen, tell so, us who you are, uh, what you're doing now, and then, like, let it rip, bro. Yeah, so uh, my name is Garen Armstrong, and I'm executive director of Shamrock Roofing and Construction. And it was great to, to bring everybody out, the Shamrock Army out, to, to Andy Elliott at the Lion's Den, and just to get fired up, fire everybody up, and impact them. What they think? Just they they were so, I mean, goosebumps, right? Just that they were so... Their minds were blown. Their their their, their perception, their, their their point of view of, of life, uh, everything changed for them, and and that's what I wanted for but them. But did they tell you that? They told me that. They 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 after was it the fact, different than they thought? It was different than they thought. They thought they were gonna come out here and get taught different sales and word tracks and things like that, and and I knew it would be different. I mean, it was on my heart to to, to bring everybody out here, and and. And then how all that happened was, you know, I, I have a successful roofing company. I had spoke at the best success, which is the, the highest, uh, you know, platform you can get on as a roofing company. Um, so I went to speak there. I'd had a heart transplant three years prior. And so it was my three-year checkup. I, right after I got off stage, I had to go catch the plane to go to the hospital to go get the biopsies. When the, was this? How long ago? It was December 3rd. Of 20? Tw- the the De- uh, December 20, 2011 was when I got, oh, sorry, 2020, December 11th was when I got my heart transplant. And so in 2020, you got your heart transplant? Yes. Okay. All yeah. right. Keep going. Okay. And yeah. then you're going to your checkup when? And so then I went to my heart checkup December 3rd of 2023, just Th- this past year. This is two months ago. Two months ago. Okay, go. All right. I just want to give everybody context. So two time. months ago. I just, you guys got to listen up. So I... I'm on, I'm at the highest level. I'm a highlights of life. I'm I'm getting I'm I'm speaking at the best success. I go to my three year heart checkup, which usually is always a good checkup. Well, you know, they go in your your juggler. They go in and check and pull in biopsies and everything. And uh, I found out that I've got the most fatal case of rejection there is. It's called CAV. And immediately I went from the highlights to the low lights. And it was two weeks before Christmas. And I didn't even want to tell my mom or my kids because I was just so devastated. I didn't know what to tell them. They've been through so much uh, with me, the heart transplant, waiting for three years for the heart transplant. And, uh, and so, you know, I, I, I didn't know what to tell the team either, the Shamrockers. I mean, there's so many people that rely on me that I'm responsible to them and their families and feeding them. And, and so, you know, I, I, I'd, reached out, I'd reached out to you and, and then Chris called and we got the call and I was like, I'm, I'm, I want to send everybody out there. I want to send everyone out there to, to come out here to impact their lives, right? And not just sales, not sales, to impact their lives so they can take that energy and share it upon their communities. Because we're in eight states and, and, and 13 cities. So it's a, it's a big, mm-hmm. big market that we represent to, to an, um, impact them. Because I'm like, okay, they're talking about having another a second transplant put in me right and I'm like you know it's difficult right and so 
I, I wanted to bring them all in out here so they can impact them so they can go on out into the light and let their light shine and and, and spread mm -hmm. God's light of the energy that that's out there is, is, is what I brought everyone out here for guys Andy Elliott listen if you're interested in real estate investing I've got the hustle summit that's gonna be June 1st it's gonna be in Scottsdale, Arizona. You guys know where I live. Now this event's gonna be one day. It's gonna be super simple. I've got a boy in mind. His name's Eric Klein. He's built about four eight-figure businesses. And right now, he's teaching people how to do wholesale real estate and make 100 grand a month. You guys just text the number below. I'll get you information on the tickets. I'd love to get close to you. I will be here. I'll meet all of you. I'll be speaking to you. Text the number below. I'll get you the information. Let's kill it. And they thought it was for sales. They thought it was that's what it's for. And yes, we got some great sales knowledge. But the rest of the life lessons, the the holistic all around life goals setting for them was is the most impactful uh, for them. That they're all going back to their families, talking about their lives and how they're setting new goals for their lives, for their 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 personal fitness, for their personal financial goals, their personal you know, mm -hmm. every every single goal around them, and so, you know, that was my my wish to be done for all the Shamrock Nation as 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 I was facing uh, basically going in for a second heart transplant. Now, mind you, I had to have uh, I had six heart surgeries prior to my heart transplant, which was. A, a, an anomaly it was a free I was perfectly healthy 40 years old I was working a, a hotel fire claim I was breathing in the smoke I got a sinus infection the sinus infection went to my heart and your heart naturally wants to heal itself and it, so it swelled up and swelled up to where you know it, there wasn't any more elasticity left in it and so I had less than 10% injection fraction in my heart so I had to go and cut the apex of my heart off and so this pump on, and I lived for three years with a wire hanging out of me, no heartbeat, no pulse, just enough blood flow to keep my organs alive. Um, and I lived off batteries that I had, a, that I had ten, 10 hours that I had to change them out. I bought these uh, football girls to put them in there, so I had some swag. I put at least put some jeans on because otherwise they want me to carry them around this vest and look like a goober. And so, you know, I... I, I had, so crazy. So tell me that. You had a... Change out your batteries every, every 10, 10 hours? Every 10 hours. So you have these, you have, because you're an ice stand, you have Is that batteries. real? Yeah, that's, that's real. I was the one of the first, I was the first one in Kansas City to get it done, leading the research for that. And That's uh, crazy, man. Yeah. And so, uh, living. For three years. For three years. Uh, and it was uh, during, during COVID was when I finally got the heart. I was in ICU because I had ripped the heart out of my, out of my heart and I didn't know it, but I was bleeding three liters of blood in my pleural sac. Your body only holds seven liters of blood, so I almost bled out. Um, and so they had to go back and sew the heart pump back in. This is one of the times during the three years of waiting on it. And so the same surgeon that saved my life, saved my life twice with that sewing that back on. But during that time, I got an infection. And in that, in, from that infection, I had to have multiple other surgeries trying to cut the infection out living with the pick line in to, to, to battle off the infection to where it finally landed me in ICU in December That's of 2020. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. And didn't know whether I was going to live or not. And So was you staying pretty positive during all this? or? Yeah, I mean, I, I it was staying positive. I, I It's the only way to be. And, you know, I, my relationship with, with God just was so strong at that time, just just talking to him. I mean, I, I prepared, you know, most people prepare for, you know, their secession plannings for their business. Um, like, okay, yeah, you, you know, just like a little will, a little paperwork, you know, mine was built out. I mean, my, building the secession planning from my deathbed for my business hasn't impacted me and helped me grow more and faster than anything I think there ever was. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've planted my, 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 my grave site, all of this stuff. So, I mean, yeah, I, I was scared, but I was prepared. I mean, and, and, I, and, I, and I was just focusing on my kids. I drove the same 10-year-old truck. I didn't buy anything new. I was focusing on the trust for the kids. I was just taking care of them in case I was to pass. I was, I was, I was, I was just really immersing myself in, with, with, with Christ. And I and and I'm on I'm on my deathbed, and I and I knew that no matter what would happen, it was going to be good. 
And you know, when when I was in ICU, and they finally called and said, "Hey, Garen, we got you got the call. You, you're gonna get you're gonna get your heart." And and I immediately just started praying for for the donor's family because they just lost a loved one. And so yeah, I was I was excited. I'm getting the heart, you know, uh, but I wasn't nervous or about going in and, and, and getting it done because it was felt like a warm blanket over me uh, 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 of God just saying, hey, you're going to be okay, if, 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 you know, no matter what. If you make it through this, you're going to be okay. If you don't, you're going to be okay. And um, obviously I made it through it. And, and when I woke up, all I heard was, was drums in my ears. From, because I had this 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 flow, it, it didn't have a heartbeat. I didn't have a pulse, so I didn't have uh, your sensitive your senses. You know, lose track that you have your, your 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 heartbeat in your ears, right? And so when I heard the heartbeat, it was just the most glorious sound that I that that I that I heard, and and and, and I knew I was going to be all right. And uh, you know, that that changes you. It changed. You know, I kind of got a, I got a new heart in more ways than one. You know, I you know I. Uh, I got a new heart, but I got a, a heart for for others. I mean, at, at that point, you know, I just I just I give I, I give I give away. You know, it's, I used to think having all the nice stuff was 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 what was cool. You know, and now you know that's not what's cool for me. You know, I could have for what it cost to 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 charter two jets, two buses, book the entire casino out. I could have bought the nicest Lamborghini. I could have mm-hmm. you know bought another house. But being able to bring them out here to hear you impact them and their lives means more to me than, than anything could have ever mean. Because, you know, they'll, 10 years from now, whether they're still a shamrock or they're not, they're going to remember, remember that guy he flew us out to, to Arizona and he spoke all that to us? You know, and, you know, that, that, that's what's impactful. That's what's in, to, to leave and live a purpose-driven life that's impacting among others is what, what it's all about. What, that's what it's all about to me. Hey, guys. Sorry to interrupt the podcast. I know you guys are checking out my man Garen right here. Dude, his story uh, he'll probably make you cry a couple times because it's super loving. It's super awesome. Uh, he's endured a lot of battles. Um, but I do want you to know something. He has built a big army, Shamrock Army. Uh, they're in eight states. They are hiring they're awesome. His team is huge. His company's huge. These guys make a lot of money. Dude, they love the leadership, and he's built a really kick-butt infrastructure. If you've been looking for a great organization, if you're looking for a great leader, I know today this podcast changed your life, but if you're like, dude, I want to work for somebody like that, you know, I would love to be a part of his team. Okay, cool. This guy's unkillable. He's going to be around forever. You guys can click the link below in the description box, and you guys can join his team. So if you want to join a great leader like him, here's your opportunity. So, yeah. that's crazy, man. That's yeah. awesome. Well, number one, it's it's beautiful, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. It's cool to see you. Uh, after going through all of this, you said you got a heart more than just one way, a new yeah. heart. Um, I see the way you love your team. Yeah. I see the way you love your girlfriend. Yeah. You know, I see the way that you live fearlessly now. Yes. Right? Yeah. Like, I don't seem like you fear anything. Nothing. Um, so what's going on now? So, you know, now now I found out that I have got the most fatalist form of rejection in this heart. And I... Uh, Does that mean it's rejecting it? So the heart... So your body naturally wants to reject any foreign objects in your body. Mm-hmm. And so that's why but I have to take so medicine. it took it for two years, and then yeah. now it's rejecting it. Yeah, so now it's rejecting it. So um, it's called CAV, where your 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 arteries are getting thicker, which is making is collapsing the the arteries to carry the blood, which carries electricity to your heart, and so the electricity is not getting to 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 my heart, and there's really no way to 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 open them back up. They're they're trying to dial in some different medicines. But truly, the only remedy is another heart transplant. And so, um, I was at KU, and they're a great hospital. They're a research heart hospital, and uh, and now I've just moved over to St. Luke's, which is their. Uh, I've over done a thousand heart transplants, and I, I just got the call 
today in the car with Crystal on the way here that they they the, the committee accepted me. So um, I'm I'm super excited about that. They found another way into my chest because I've been cut open so many times that there's just so much uh, you know build up scar tissue that it takes a while to get in, and so. You know that's what's going on now, and it's just about the the maintenance of of uh, the heart transplant and preparing for possibly another one. But main thing is taking care of my body and taking care of my team and taking care of my family and leading a life of impact and purpose. How old are your kids? Eighteen, seventeen, and fourteen. Okay, what do they think? The, they. They've seen me go through these surgeries, so it's like, oh, his dad just get another surgery, you know. He's he's gonna he's gonna pull through. He's he's tough as nails, and and that's that's awesome. They that you know they they feel that and they have the faith of that, but they also know like when they heard on this one, it's really the first time I seen seen um, seen him cry. They 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 knew the impact and how how long I had to wait and what it looks like and and how many times that I've been under. It's, it's, it gets harder the more the more you go, but they're 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 very supportive. They're very supportive. What would you tell anybody, you know, after going through all this? Someone's on the other side of every one of these cameras. You know, what message would you would you give them? You know, not knowing, you know, you you might yeah. live another fifty years or you know, yeah. like what would you say? Life is fleeting, and and we spend all this time on the phone scrolling, comparing each other to everybody. And life is not about that. Life's about giving back to others. Life is about supporting. Life is about, you know, you're, you're, you're feeling down, you're beat up because somebody has something more than you or whatever, and, and, and you're bummed out. Do something to hold the door open for, for, for somebody at the door at, at the grocery store. Do something nice. Do these little things. Just give, give in little, a little ways. Giving back helps so much for, for, for you and your own mindset. And things start to change in your life. It really does, and 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 I think that's the the main thing. I think that's the, it's the purpose. It's living a purpose. What about for moms and dads? What would you tell them? For moms and dads, I would definitely say go get your heart checked because you never know what's going on. It's like fifty bucks. It's well worth it. How did you find out? Well, I I I. Would, Thought I had a sinus infection because that's what I was working a fire claim. And was so, it because of the fire claim stuff that made that happen? Yeah, I got a uh, yeah breathing in all the char, and and the, then I had the sinus infection. So I just thought it was a sinus infection, no big deal, but it wouldn't go away, and my stomach was hurt, hurting, and I thought I had an ulcer, you know. And and uh, so I, and my mom's like, keep go, go to the hospital, go to the hospital. I'm like, no, I'm not going to the hospital, you know. God, was you God. in roofing when this happened? Yeah, I was in roofing when it happened, but. Um, I was working at the hotel. I we did, did the roof, and then they had the fire. The, so we did. We do construction as well. We built. There was 178 rooms we built in this hotel. But um, so the, the, there was the sinus infection that that led to the heart, and uh, then you know being 40 years old and getting that news. You know, being strong as an ox. You know, used to run. You know, four and five miles. Work out. You know, very healthy. To, to being so unhealthy and be, I mean I was on I was on death's door, before, you know I finally went to the ER and as soon as I went to the ER it was immediately code blue they threw me on the gurney they had me back there they were cutting me open checking for blockages and cutting they, you open how through your groin going up checking to see if you had any any anything that was closed because I wasn't getting enough blood I mean. And and so and at that point they kept me there, they kept me there. Started doing a workup and they said, Garen, the only way we can keep you here, you, you can go and live like this for however long you can live, or we've got this new research. It's called an LVAD. It's a HeartMate three, and it has this magnetic pulse that that just uh, keeps spinning in there. Um, and I said, I'll try it. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll let's try this research. Could you feel unhealthy? Yeah, I, yeah, I felt it. I'm mean, usually strong, and then getting on and off ladder, I was just, I was dizzy. I got lost on the way to the hospital driving myself when I, when I finally pulled up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so um, then, then I got there, and they, it, it was, it was, it was, it was God saving His grace that that kept me alive, and and to be able to keep me there, and and through all these six surgeries, 
and 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 from that um, you know you do a lot of introspection you do a lot of self-reflection you know what is my time on earth here what is that what have I done what do I want to accomplish you know have I have I led my kids properly have I do, do, they, do they know God like 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 they need to know God did, did I did I did I fail in these areas am I focusing too much on on making money am I am, you know am I am I well balanced enough you know all of these questions that you you you, you think about and um, and so you know you just, it, 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 you know it made me think a lot about life and what I've been doing and, and since then you know I've been doing a lot of work with uh, donate life I'm the I'm the chairman for the Hardball, the American Heart Association. The Hardball, it's the Centennial Hardball on Saturday. Um, so it's it's uh, they've been around for a hundred years, mm -hmm. which is very cool to think of a hundred years. I mean, so the Hardball, you know, in nineteen the Heart American Heart Association in nineteen twenty four, what it looked like in the twenties and the Roaring Twenties. How do they make it through the Depression? How do they go through the forties? You know, it's really cool. You know, and then and then what does heart research look like in the next hundred years? You know, so it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, so I'm just involved and entrenched there. I I, I, I do a lot of support with a lot of other other uh, families that are going through heart issues, mm -hmm. um, and let them know it's gonna be okay. Let them know that hey, look, look at me. You know, I, I made it. I made it. You can make it. You know, and and their, and their support, their loved ones, their wives, they're they're going through their their husbands or their husbands, their their wives are going through it. Every time that you would have your first heart surgery. Did they think that that was going to fix? So the first time, no, did they say like you're no. going to go through multiple surgeries? Yeah. So the the heart mate three, the the LVAD, they call that a bridge to life, or you know, or to death. You you live on it for only a period of time, and so that was just uh, to live on for a period of time. I thought I was going to just be living on this heart mate three, you know, this this pump for you know like nine months, six months, not very long. But it took three years before I was able to get the transplant because I'm O positive, and O's can only give to O. O O's can give to anybody, but O's can only accept O's. Mm. So I was on the list for for a long time, waiting three years. So, That's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's it a crazy freaking story. <laughs> yeah. So how do you feel right now? I feel super pumped up. I'm sitting here next to you, having a nice cup of coffee. You know, I got a whole team that came in here and got, got uh, you know, just filled their cups up with life, and with they have all new purposes. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments, tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. Two one zero zero two five four. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Do you think your Do you think your fitness is important to take care of? Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like some people get sick of me talking about fitness. Well, I so I the doctors told literally told me if if you weren't so healthy going into this, you would have died long time prior to getting the heart made through. You wouldn't even made it to surgery. Mm. Your body. Your, your your body relied upon the rest of the strength of your of your body so basically be uncomfortable now so if you ever have to get put under the lights yes. you'll be ready yes rather be un be uncomfortable in your workout versus being uncomfortable being sick being overweight being that causes other you may not be able to diabetes. make it through the test you won't make it through the test yeah yeah and so even now, uh, you know, I've got some doctors that say, Garen, I want you to take it easy. <coughs> I got other doctors that say, Garen, stay at it. I want you to keep working out, you know, because you need it for your, your body to keep it through it and, and your mental. Because when you go in there, mental is so important. The, yeah, the mental clarity, the mental <laughs> state. Because when you're going in there for your, your, your new heart, your heart it adapts to what your body is doing, the stress, the everything. So when you're going in, you got to be, you got to be. So, so you're saying that. If you're worried and you have anxiety and your mind's racing, your heart, the new heart's going to come into a body that's like in pure chaos. Yes, disease causes di disease. disease causes disease. Yes, disease mm -hmm. causes disease. Yeah. So like, you got to make sure that at all times that your body, your mind, your spirit, your zen, 
all in one. Mind, yeah, I mean, you could be, yes. yeah, you could be hardcore and be, a, but you need to make sure you're taking care of yourself. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, good positive thoughts, not negative thoughts. Right. Understanding that, hey, problems are made to be solved. It's not a big deal, right? right? No big deal. No big deal. Yep. Past don't equal the future. If you had a bad past out there, it doesn't mean you can't have a great future. For all of you out there living in dogma that, that, that they told you you can't be great, you had a bad past, doesn't mean you can't have a great future. Look past all that. Dude, I love it. Yeah. Well, dude, I'm going to tell you, just in the short amount of time that we've talked, you got a big company, you got, you got a great team, you got a beautiful girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You obviously got three awesome kids. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, you're, you got a second chance at life. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And now you're looking at getting a third chance at life. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So as you're sitting here today and, you know, uncertainty, right, is right. like, you know, what's tomorrow? I think that all of us have uncertainty. Right. Like someone could be driving home today and get in a car wreck. Right. And you didn't have to go through a heart transplant. You didn't have to go through the three years of waiting. You have to go through all that. But that doesn't mean that you, we all have an expiration date on us. Right. And I think that your advice was like, hey, wake up. It's all about waking up. You know. Living now. Yeah, wake up. Like, you know, hurt. you could be 18 years old watching this and you may not make it to 19. You know, you could be 40, be perfectly healthy. And then one day, you know, just takes a turn to the to the bad side. Yeah. You know, but at the end of the day, I think that exercising, taking care of yourself, getting yourself strong, making sure that you're taking care of your 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 life. So in the event something hard happens, your body's ready to fight. Absolutely. Ready to fight. Because if it wasn't for my, me being healthy at that time, then I wouldn't be here today. Yeah. And yeah. And and God knows you're a fighter. Yeah, I'm, I'm a comeback. I'm a comeback. Yeah, I love I love that you're an overcomer yeah. and you're the comeback kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Doctors did tell me they said, Now Garen, we uh this is gonna age me a little bit. They go, Garen, we don't want you looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger no more. We want you looking more like Patrick Swayze. <laughs> <laughs> so for so you youngsters out there, you don't have to look them up, maybe. But uh. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I like that. They're saying you don't need to be all jacked. Just yeah. take care of yourself. Look yes, good. yes. I love that. Um, so, why don't you tell us a little bit about? And let's finish with this. How did you grow up? Like, what was life like? Like, how did you build this big roofing company? So life, life growing up, uh, you know, uh, it was. It was lower uh middle income you know um my mom and dad they strived hard for everything i got i grew up in a tougher spot at kansas city and um i was always an entrepreneur and um uh maybe and i was always good at sales <laughs> and and maybe uh some of the things that i started selling weren't probably the right things to start mm -hmm. selling but um so i ended up getting in trouble you know at a very young age and um you know made uh didn't really make my, my my folks all that proud and i let a lot of people down and so um you know by being able to to, to learn from those experiences mm -hmm. and and be able to turn my life around and uh to be able to to to, to learn business to be able to 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 take what i have done and grow what it's done into it and then be able to give back and kind of show the world that you know look down their nose at me for you know getting in trouble all of these things right mm -hmm. like look i am a comeback in more ways than one you know yeah, you had to learn yeah yeah i think anybody watching this right now you know he has a massive company and i want you guys to understand something obviously he's explained and poured his heart out that wake up you don't know when your last day is expiration's coming for all of us me you everyone who's watching this if you're a human being. So while you're here on earth, make sure you make your life count, um, which is what we do every day. We talk about self-development, like the highest form of human excellence possible is the way we want to live. Um, but you said that you did some stuff that didn't make your parents all that proud, yeah. but then you learned from it yes. and you went and something made, made something really cool out of your life. Yes. I think that's important, man. I think that a lot of people, they, they do things and they feel shame and they feel like they're unworthy or they feel like they're unqualified. Yes, absolutely. I mean, even right now, I mean, it's been hard for me to share my story because of, of, of you know, the past that's, that's happened. You know, 
I've, you know, bankers turn you down, business people look away, all of these things that they, they'll, they'll, they'll block, they'll want to block you out of from, from trying to fulfill that light, you know, fulfill mm -hmm. what your, your goals and destiny is. But as soon as you, 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 you get through that and you, you share that and you step into the light, you're going to be surrounded by the right people anyway. You're not supposed to, you know, the other bankers or the other people or the other, your true friends, the true supporters, the true people that want to go to the next level, they're the ones that are going to come out there mm -hmm. and be around for you. The other people that are just faking to be around you or want to be around you because of your success that may shun you or won't let you into this certain club or that country club for this other reason, don't want to be around them anyway, you know? Yeah. So... Yeah. Well, you're an underdog and you're an overcomer, man. And I love that. And I think a lot of people on our channel um, are uh, overdog or they're underdogs and they're overcomers. And, you know, we uh, we 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 don't call them out every day to to look at their holes. We call them up like we call we call them up like yeah. it's time to level up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think this is a really cool time in an era in which we live in, in which, you know, maybe when you were younger, you would have liked to heard a story like yours. I would love to have. You know, just yeah. to know that, you know, like, hey, dude, like, no big deal. Yeah. You know, like, if you got your ass kicked, like, cool. Like, yeah. hey, you did something wrong? Cool. You know, hey, did you learn? Okay, do you understand what you did wrong? And then did you change? Yeah. And then if you changed, anybody that changed or has changed is good in my book. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would love to. I mean, when, when, when you... Uh, when you go away and you see a sign on there that says, leave your hopes and dreams behind, you know, it does a, impact a lot of people. Mm -hmm. and, and you come home and, and, and you get out and you're like, how am I supposed to do this? And, and then, you know, you got to think and be bigger than grow past all of that, you know. And so it does bring shame, and you, but you got to lean into it and say, hey, I, I did do that and I repent from that and, and grow from that. That's and, it. And, yeah. yeah. God's good, dude. God's good. <laughs> Well, listen, man, number one, dude, uh, that's a lot of information you just dumped <laughs> on my old heart here. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You yeah. got a crazy story, bro. I mean, I'm always fired up, you know, anytime I hear, you know, things that are like, you know, like have to do with like people's lives, like it makes me really think. Um, and I think that's what we need to do sometimes. I mean, the best thing God ever gave us was a heart and a mind. And you said, I got a, a new heart in more than one way. So I think everybody, you should learn. Uh, use your heart. So I get, God gave it to you. Yeah. Okay, make sure you examine it. Yeah. Okay, increase it. You can teach it. You can train it. You can, you know, use it. It'll be one of the greatest weapons you've ever used. It's amazing. But then also your mind, you know, like as you're talking to me, like I'm processing, like, okay, life is short. I got a lot to do, you know. Am I really like spending time hanging out with the wrong people? Like, is that really what I want to do? You know, is, is watching TV at night, you know, instead of studying to better myself, to take better care, care of my kids, is that the right thing to do? You know, is when I go to work, you know, watching social media instead of working hard so I can get ahead in my life really the right thing to do? You know, is going to the mall and blowing money, said you drove the same truck for 10 years, but is going to the mall, blowing money the right thing to do or is setting up my family or, you know, and self-investing in myself or building a business like like there's just so much you can think about yeah you know and now everybody has the same chance just like you you think you know you take action yeah. you know what i mean you stay consistent yeah right you believe in yourself absolutely you know speaking about uh, driving the same truck after i got the heart transplant i uh I made I made the mistakes i, I went and bought the big lake house i went and bought two boats i went mm -hmm. and did all this right and I found out after sitting on the boats, like for, for, you know, three days, I really realized I wasn't meant to sit on the beach and rot. Mm -mm. I literally docked the boats, went back to Kansas City, and hung out at the headquarters because I just like being around the guys, the yeah. gals. Yeah. And, and it's the like camaraderie of winning. The camaraderie, yeah, and being around everybody. Yeah, that's how I am. I really am. Listen, I love to go to the beach, yeah. get some sun, and get a tan. But then I want to run right back to the chaos. Yeah. You know? A leader loves being in the middle of chaos. We like creating order. Yeah. We like seeing everybody running around, giving their best, yeah. you know? Yeah. We like working, man. I mean, yeah. I love working. Like, I told my wife I'm never going to retire. Yeah. It's, like, I just don't want to. Like, I just want to work until I die. Yeah. I'll die you know? my boots out. Yeah. That's it. 
Yeah. yeah. And, and some people are like, well, I want to go retire. I don't want to go work forever. Hey, that's cool, man. But I just, I love it. I love people and I love winning and I love business. And by the way, we've chose a business, me and you, that we love. Yeah. You know? So like at the end of the day, like I'm not working at McDonald's. Right. And I'm not saying McDonald's is bad, but I'm not working at McDonald's and just like, I'm going to always work. No, dude, find something you love and kick ass. Yeah. You yeah. know? Um, but if somebody wants to follow you, how can they find you on like Instagram? The Garen if, Armstrong? Yeah, if somebody wants to shoot you a DM yeah, or message you. Yeah, hit me up at, at the Garen Armstrong or GarenArmstrong.com. Uh, I got a book coming out, Garen's Journey. Uh, you can hear about it, read about it. Um, it's more of a novella. It's, it's, it's for a lot of uh, halfway houses, a lot of churches, a lot of you know, AA classes. Uh, you know, so that it's, it's, it's something quick you can read, you can see my story. You know that, hey, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, so it's really just uh, an emo uh, a motivational uh, story of my journey that, that, you, that you can read so that you don't have to be ashamed of your story. Well, well I think one thing is, number one, I'm going to get the book and read it. When does it come out? It comes out in a month. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to read it. Good. Okay. Make sure you guys get his book, and when you see, and after you get it, when you read it, tag him. Okay. Um, number two, I just want to say to you, um, I want everybody to go follow him on Instagram. Let's go follow your story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I think you're going to live another hundred years. Yeah. I think we might go have to, to put 19 hearts in you, but That's I think we'll right. be all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's it. You might have go to start putting them in your ears and That's figure it. out That's because it. you got so much scar tissue That's on you. That's um, it. But you're unkillable. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I saw the way you love your team. I saw the way your girlfriend looked at you. I could tell how proud of you she was. I could see how much your team loved you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I think the world needs more people like you. So if you've watched this right now, I know that you're moved. If you're not moved, then I'm going to need to slap you, okay, because you don't have a heart. But this guy right here, he's amazing, and you're my brother, brother. and I love you, and love we're going to we're gonna stay close, and yeah. we're going to make sure that we keep following your story, and, you know, you just keep winning. Yeah. So, guys, I appreciate you. I love you. I know a lot of you guys got value today. Today was a very good perception value, how – special life is let's not take it for granted let's not wait for something bad to happen before we give our best the best day to change is today it's today all right guys see you in the next video right, thank you hey guys i just want to tell you you're the true one percenters you made it till the end of the video do me a favor share it with the friend that wants to go to another level make sure you like the video comment below so i know who you are set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel we got daily sales training videos dropping i'll see you soon Okay.